All right, hello and welcome back everyone to the SMO League hosted and sponsored by Plan B Esports. Fourth match, match today, Eek versus Tylotech. And joining me today is Peaceful Storm. Hello. Um, yeah, what do you think? What can we expect from this race? Well, I'll tell you what we can expect. We can expect a lot of heartbreak and a lot of fun along the way. This is going to be an interesting tale because, of course, as commentators, we are privy to the script. So we'll get to... <laughs> this, is, this one's going to be a tearjerker, I'll just say that much. Yeah. Might actually be the, the most hyped script today. Um, that's what I can say. Um, but, yeah. Let, let's just see how, how it will go. Um, both of their PBs actually quite close. Um, Tyler takes PB is n- not official as far as I know. It wasn't recorded. But yeah, Tyler Tech got sub hour uh, like a couple of weeks back. And Eek actually quite interesting. Um, last week got like really close to BB in, in his race against Hay there. Like only five seconds off. He got like a 59 53 and won that race against Hay there. But missed the PB by like five seconds. Um, was still possible in Moon, I believe. Um, but actually, like only like less than 24 hours ago, um, he actually PB'd and got a 59.33. Um, so really cool. And let's see if he if he can can match that. Um, but yeah, I sure hope so. That'd be entertaining. What if they both PB'd in this race? Oh, we got a language difference here. Oh yeah, Tyler Tech as always playing in Japanese as he thinks that's the superior language. Um but yeah, uh we'll obviously lose like three seconds over Eek um just from that language. Um because as um there might be people who don't know that um Actually, some languages languages have less characters and so scroll faster. Um, and yeah, it happens that simplified Chinese, the language Eek uses, um, is like three seconds faster than <coughs> um, Japanese. For sure. But the one thing Tylo Tech does have by using the language they love is they have a love for this game that they say three second time loss. I don't care. I'm going to do what I think is fun, and I'm going to keep that language. Yeah, and I mean, he, he still got, like, solid performances and got, like, sub all with it, I guess. Um, so it really doesn't matter too much. But just imagine Tyler Tech got, like, I don't know, if a, a 1001 or something as a PB, and you would just know uh, if, if he played in simplified Chinese, it would have been, like, three seconds faster. So that would be kind of sad. But yeah, he obviously as like I think he jumped from like 101 uh, 1001x to 5950. I don't know what what's going on with X screen. I think we're having some stuff uh, getting fixed by the restreamer. Not quite sure. <clears throat> uh, just a few technical issues. I'll get sorted out here soon. In the meantime, we can all watch on a tiny screen, which is quite a, just a different experience. We can all be mindful <laughs> about what we're experiencing. Yeah, it's not easy to tell. But I'm pretty sure he, he defeated Topper. <laughs> all right. Looks like it to me. Okay, we're, we're having some behind-the-scenes behind, behind the scenes stuff here. Always cool to see. Oh, I forgot to look. Uh, do you have on hand, do you know if they go for DSS? I don't think either of them do, do they? Um, yeah, that's something I'm actually interested in um, because Eek didn't go for DSS in his races, which is a smart decision, obviously. But he definitely went for it in his PB. So, yeah, and I'm curious if he, if he would go for it in the race. I assume he won't, but I think it's possible. I hope they do because it's always entertaining to see. Oof, that bonk, though. Now I don't think they're going to go for it, for sure. Uh, 
Uh, we will we will see in a second. The moment we've all been waiting for. If they decide not to go with the DSTA, Tyler Tech will have a little bit of a lead margin here. So yeah, Tylo and Ik both not attempting it. Really understandable. It's a hard trick. We saw like Danster fail it twice in the race before and actually missed the SDA because of that. And yeah, it can be really painful. And it's a hard trick. So just go for the dino here. This is like 10 seconds, but it's way safer. And yeah, Danster obviously still won. Um, and you get to be a T-Rex. I mean, I know as a kid, I always wanted to be a T-Rex. So, I mean, that's always, <laughs> so that's always a plus. Yeah, I think I never really was that much into dinos uh, when I was a kid, but um, definitely a really cool thing to think about, like being such a, such a huge and dangerous um, animal. Both of them finishing uh, Madame Boot here. Decent fights. And yeah, still a really close race. Nothing too big um, so far. It looks like neither opt to do chess club. And chess club isn't really worth it until like really low, right? Like, like 57, right? I mean, chess club is like a trick that... It's really different. Like some people opt to do uh, opt to go for it in, in like when they have like one on one or something, um, but it's definitely more common on a sub hour level. And yeah, I think there are probably also runners with like sub hour who don't go for it. Um, as we can see right here, like Eek and Tylo both having sub hour and not going for for Chesslip here. But yeah, makes sense. Chesslip saves like. A second and if you want to save that second you have to go for the really fast setup which is pretty hard for sure for sure looks like Ich decided to go uh, on a date with the chain chomp and it didn't end up too well yeah always really annoying if you um, have like trouble with the angle there because you can't really avoid one once you mess up this spin angle it can be really painful because on the one hand you can bonk on the wall on the left on the stone wall and if you spin pawn too far to the right, you you, you will hit this to chain jump. Um, it's hard to avoid once you, once you mess up the angle. For sure, for sure. So yeah, time to take having like a seven second lead here out of cascade. Um, actually, really another thing that's really interesting, like E cat, I guess a really big advantage on like golds and everything when you look on the head-to-head -head sheet uh on the stat sheet um we don't have that on on stream obviously but uh if you want to you can check that out um there's like a command for that that i never know um there we go thank you <laughs> um but yeah on the head-to-head -head sheet we can see that eek has like almost all of the like has an advantage on all of the league goals and league averages um other than actually sand like sand uh, is one of the few instances where tile is actually better so far in the league what i'm looking forward to is seeing dram both of them have 100 percent. i hope they both keep that 100 percent going into it or well, going to it yeah we just started on dram um e having Trouble on single build though, like only one out of three on single build so far in the league. But yeah, both of them like pretty consistent players, I would say. Um, especially Tyler had like really solid performance in the qualifiers. Sadly, wasn't really able to to match that. Um, in the league so far, like maybe there's like a little more pressure, um, but uh, still is with, with, uh, with decent decent times, but um, not as consistent as he was in the qualifiers. Ooh, that up throw though by Eek. I keep oh, watching, not from our screen. I keep watching on the stream. 
Oh, I mean, you're like, <laughs> that's not great. I'm, I'm like five seconds behind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that happened to me too, um, like in previous races. It took me like 10 minutes to realize that I was 10 seconds behind. <laughs> I'm like, how are you seeing all this? I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I can see the future. That's the secret here. I mean, I, I just read the script, you know? Oh, oh yes. Ah. Yeah. Oh, okay, Eek barely making that. Um, but both getting Graham, getting Singable, and we're having like a little route difference here. Tyler opting for the normal route, uh, the normal Jaxi route, if you want to call it like that, and um, Eek going for reverse Jaxi. Little faster, a little harder. Um, so thanks for the bits, Travis. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Looks like. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, is Tyler was... in the lead? Yeah, Tyler is still in the league. Uh, uh, in the lead, I would say. He's also still in the league, obviously. Um, <laughs> but he definitely catched up there with that reverse Jaxi. So yeah, solid sands so far. Also, something that I find really interesting is like how different the colors are on both screen, both screens. Yeah, there is. Yeah, that is something that's very interesting to see. Just different runners have. Sometimes it's quite close, but this is actually really different. Like that red and orange. All right, both of them getting notes, and we're almost synced. Out of scent. Amazing. Looks like those three seconds might come to bite Tylo in the butt here. If this keeps up. Yeah, Tylo like 0.5 ahead or something. So what's the last vegetable you ate? What? The last vegetable? Uh, yeah. I mean, I just had pizza today with like... Uh, what was on it? Uh... Like onions, if you want to call them vegetables. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's see if I think he actually. Oh my god! Look, like that's meshing. Just he just catched up a meshing faster here. Like now it's actually synced. <laughs> it's like the language difference showing oh up. yeah true, language true. Difference. Yeah, you're slowly seeing it here this is a perfect example of why you want to pick traditional yeah channels. like each saving like a second there wow crazy might not all be the tech uh might not all be like the language could also be like meshing but still it's definitely time safe from the language there that's pretty crazy it is I remember, like, I was watching the old, old guides for it, and they were like, simple, they're cha Japanese. Then I tried the other one, I'm like, wait, this is so much faster. Yeah, I think what, what people say is that it's faster in the earlier kingdoms, especially. I don't know if that's true. Oh, and you're having a lot of trouble with the clip here. But if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Well, you know what? Third time right. charm. There we okay. go. Yeah, but that's that's a big time loss there. Lake Clip is such a hard trick sometimes. Um, so precise and easy to mess up. It's merciless too. Yeah. Like I I kill runs to Lake Clip all the time. Even though like I'm most of the time I continue the run, but <laughs> it's kind of bad then. <laughs> Oh, okay. I, Rango kills my runs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm over that, but yeah, I, I know that feeling too. <laughs> but yeah, for Eek, definitely race isn't over. It's really early. Um, it's only like 20 seconds behind. This is just easy, easily winnable still. The way I think about it is basically they were tied there. They had 20 seconds of time loss, so they're fine. You know? Like, if yeah. TB-wise, you know? Oh, yeah. True. 
Uh, really solid leg, I think, from Tylo. Oh. <laughs> also, very interesting <clears throat> to say he actually um, improved both his average and league gold in sand, so now he actually only has like two splits where Tylo is ahead of him. Like, he has like Tylo has a better lost gold and a better Barney's average. But other than that, he has like a, an advantage on everything, every single kingdom, uh, gold and average. It's pretty crazy. It is. Uh, this will be interesting for Tylo attack with the 66% chance on Nut Clip coming up here. Oh, yeah. Most other runners besides Tylo Tech and Miwi have 100% success rate with Nut Clip, so we'll see if that comes into play here. Yeah, Nut Clip is, I don't know, stupid trick. I like that there's the backup route for it now, though, that people just are like, oh, wait, we can just do it without doing Nut Club. Yeah, it's cool that people actually started doing that. Um, I think the first one I ever uh, saw doing it was like Royal May, which was like two years ago or something. And oh, it's not new. Oh. It's, it's not new. It's really not new, but people just started going for it like a year ago. Um, but the route's been known for like two years, I would say. Um, because I, I, for myself, I know I catch it up earlier, actually, because I always failed in uplift. Um, and that route actually saved time, like probably like five seconds over the other route that I did as a backup. All right, Teletech got nutlip. And Eek will be attempting it now. Trying to it's stay out of bounds. Also looking good, but Tyler having. Ooh. You can stop can't you? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but that's, yeah. Oh, and they're out of it. Yeah. Looks like we're about synced back up here. Tyler losing a lot of time. Eek bouncing on it immediately like a lion seeing a oh, gazelle. And we're synced, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's hope we're synced out of, out of wooded again to see the text meshing and a language difference. <laughs> it's really cool to watch that. Yeah, yeah I, I think so too. Amazing. Let's see. Eek with the better upward movement here. A little better. So, how do you do the um those jumpy guys? How do you make them go fast? Mm, the upward? Um, yes. I mean, basically, you wanna most of most of the time if you see like uproots having like a lot of sp speed is because they just jumped off like a little slope or something like that. They have like these these spawners if you know what I'm talking about, um, yeah, yeah, which have like a little slope on the side, and if you actually manage to do like a jump off of that slope, uh, you actually get speed. Huh. It can, yeah, it can differ a lot, like depending on how, on how you do it. And that's what people try to do. We will see, like Ik and Tyler now kept capturing another uproot, and let's see if someone gets the speed here. Yeah, he kind of got it. Yeah. Tylo he might have got it too, but he didn't opt to jump there on the flower road. Eek lost a little time getting the nut after Flower Road skip. So it's gonna be a close one for sure. Who do you think has the better flooded pipes? Mm, on that level, like both of them having uh, 59 um, SCPB, I would say both of them will go for the same cycle, like not the crazy cycle, um, just the normal cycle. And if you go for the same cycle, um, basically you shouldn't lose really, like, People should have like the same speed in the in that sub area because it's cycle based. So I assume both of them will do the same stuff here or like similar stuff to actually catch the same cycle. As you were saying, it looks like they're mimicking each other's movements in the exact same. It's 
It's like we're watching a recording. <laughs> All right, both of them netting the cycle. And time to take having like a one second or one and a half second lead here out of wooded. Let's see if he can catch up in uh, in the Odyssey again. <laughs> All right, what chat vote on? What chat? Who do chat vote to win? Looks like people got their money on Eek. Or no, wait, they got it on the tech expert. My bad, sorry. Yeah, this is basically anyone's race, in my opinion. Both of them are really close. Um, not only PB-wise, but also like consistency-wise and everything. As I already said, Ikki had like more, like better performances so far in the league, but uh, they definitely are on basically the same level. Looks like they gained, they're like a half a second. Like, it looks like they're about like a second or two behind now. Well, now it just looks like a half. Yeah. I think Ikki catched up again. Yeah, That's for like sure. Good. Yeah. Neither player goes for the thingy, the hint art. Yeah. I don't know. Like, out of the 12, 12 players in the league, maybe like half of them goes for it. Good fights. All right, we'll see if the meme tree gets any victims today. Typically, high level runners such as these two runners typically don't have any problem with memes. So they just ignore them and say, You're not that funny to me. But we'll see if any of them laugh potentially and they have a slip up on their movement. Yeah, and it looks like. Neither of them, yeah, neither of them goes for the dive world, which is like a little scarier than uh, the uh, cap return jump there. And sometimes you just don't get your cap bounce after the dive world, which can cause a death. But if you don't go for, for the dive world there, you shouldn't have too much trouble, especially like, I mean, if you have like a sub hour time. <laughs> oh, for sure. So next trick coming up, we have Strapetal here. Uh, did anyone go for it so far? I believe uh, Tyler Tech does soon. go for it, but Eek doesn't. Or maybe it's the other way around. Uh, oh no, both both of them went for it so uh, in the races. Both of them have a 100% rate on it. Oh, and Tyler Tech failed it here. And Eek taking the lead. All right. Oh, no. that's not too bad, though. We can. They see might. It. They might be synced again out of the yeah. kingdom. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna be a sync. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very much. Yeah. Amazing. Perfect example it's... of the text again. We'll see it right and here. And again, again, title tech is like 0.5 ahead. <laughs> Let's see if Eek is, a, is ahead into Night Metro. This is like really a language comparison uh, race here. That's so cool. Cause like how the cutscenes are going, it's like whoosh, whoosh, it's like a wave. Yeah, and, and yeah, he definitely saved some time again. Yeah, he took the lead, tiny as it may be, but you can see it. Yeah, once again, it it might not only be the language; it can also meshing can actually uh, make a big difference if you have good meshing. Um, there are okay. some people that have crazy meshing. Good idea. Yeah. yeah. Defi language definitely helps you. Yeah. Do you have any idea what your APM is? Or what clicks per minute? 
Oh, uh, not great, I think. I think my Odyssey meshing isn't too bad because I mm, go for like kind of time time A presses and stuff like that. I, at least I try to do that. But yeah, uh, I can't really click fast, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I think it's terrible. I had like, I don't know, maybe like eight or something like that. He's losing a little bit of time. Yeah, and now Tyler's ahead again. Let's see if we will see any Goomba Hex here. No. Oh, this race is great. It's so close. It Amazing. is. It's really a nail biter. We had like that one instance where uh, uh, Eek lost 20 on Lake Clip, but then Tyler lost like 20 on Wooded Out of Bounds. And so it was only like. 20 seconds apart for for like maybe two or three minutes and yeah the rest of of the race was basically really really close oh not getting oh. the check oh yeah. no he, he, def he definitely needs that checkpoint because we want to walk to that in day metro and if you actually forget to t uh, to take the checkpoint uh, that can lose i don't know probably like 20 or 30 seconds I mean, it depends on how soon you notice. Uh, like if you notice soon enough, you can go for a different route and everything. But um, if you notice the moment you want to warp, it can be kind of costly. All right, what do you think the pattern's going to be? Oh, uh, circle, just a big circle just for both of them. I think Tile Attack is going to get a, a loop on the left side and equal get something, I don't know. Oh, it's wrong of, about the Tyler. I don't know. I sometimes feel it's not really RNG. It like kind of depends on something because I don't know. Some some patterns seem way more common than others for me, at least. Like, and yeah. most of the time, I get a pattern where the wiggler is on top. Um, and I don't really know why, but I, I think it's it feels like it's more common for me than when I watch races or or runs. I agree with you there. Like, I feel like there's a way to manipulate it. I just don't know how, yeah. but I feel like there is a tiny way. Yeah, it might be really, really precise or something. Um, but I also think there is something. Maybe if someone... I don't know. I don't think anyone has tried using TAS on it, but maybe that could be... Um, uh, it could help to see something there. All right, now coming up, scoot lip. It's always Keep ten. Nice. nice drive by. Oh yeah. Both players getting it on the first drive by. Very nice. Yeah, really nice drive bys. Really All right. Clean. All right. I'm gonna just say here, uh, the one, the moon that you got right now is my girlfriend's favorite moon. So yeah. yeah. My girlfriend's favorite moon is this one right here because Mario's being a friend to a guy. I, I think I think actually you already said that in like two races before. <laughs> no, I've never said that. No, no, this is no, no yeah. new information. Um, at least I think I've heard that before. Okay. All right, both of them stuck in your head. <laughs> Both of them going for the bullet bill route here. So they will go for slots. I don't know, when you go to the casino, you better be ready to win and loot. Oh, well, they're both winners. Okay. Wish I was like them when I went to the casinos. I don't know, slots. Just imagine slots would actually be ran random. <laughs> that would be really interesting to see if people so they would never go for it, right? No. Nah. Now we wouldn't see bullet building, I guess. In runs, we probably would still see musicians then, because I don't think. Oh, maybe it could be like. 
it could be like another moon there's like toad uh, which can be kind of fast but i don't know if it could be faster than musicians combined with bullet building looks like both of them managed to get bullet right both of them got it first one yeah uh looked good Yeah, but that was basically only BTT Ega. Oh, that was the thing behind the skyscraper, right? Yeah, on on the little island with with the one musician on it. Um, it's like a really weird thing where you can use like one of those poles to flick all the way to to that island but you need to get like a really crazy vector and then you have to do like a, a really stupid dram to save like a second it's really crazy not really rta viable at least it wasn't uh, when it was like in vtt but nowadays we just do like slots and um, bullet building so it doesn't really matter so we can't really tell if anyone would go for it uh, nowadays It's really crazy, like that. There's still new invent, like still new routes being discovered, even to this day. This game's come out like five years ago now, right? Or uh, no, like three, three years and yeah, three and a half. Not not quite, but yeah. Was well, like two, 2017, like October, late October, twenty seventeen. Still amazes me. Yeah, October 27th, uh, for the Nintendo Switch, yeah. For PlayStation, it was out like a year year earlier, obviously. True, that, that was a good one. I, I liked that one. <laughs> you know, I feel like this race might be a good just representation for like beginning runners who are like dead set that Japanese is the best. Just so they could like see <laughs> the difference. Like, I think like yeah. we should take this one just for that use. Well, yeah, and the mashing, like you were saying, mashing too. Yeah. I mean, each definitely had uh, a better Metro Kingdom. Um, so Tyler is now, I don't know, like 15 behind, something like that. Do we have, <clears throat> do we have a comparison? It says nine. Okay, I guess it's only nine seconds. Um, so it's still really close. We've seen like some big mistakes in snow in, in the races today. We, we've seen like snow drum fails, we've seen deaths and everything. So snow is definitely a kingdom where you can lose a lot of time if you have like a bad spot to make a mistake. This clip is so cool to me. Oh, I don't. Oh, Eek doesn't go for it, do they? Oh, never mind. He <laughs> did like the, the backflip in the wrong direction. My bad. Um, okay, this, uh, this clip on Tyler Tech's screen looks so cool to me. Yeah, but he didn't clip, I, I think. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> Bye, B. Okay, he getting the spiny man up here. And a really cool optimization where you leave like one spiny to get like different camera panning here um, after the cutscene right here. Oh, shorter, cam shorter camera pan so it saves like a second or half a second. That's so cool. I, I yeah. They did it. Yeah, they. A lot of people think like um, it's actually a mistake to leave like a spiny there, but it saves like half a second. And another thing thing that saves quite a lot of time is Goomba vectors. Uh, yeah, Eek goes for the vectors. Probably didn't save a second there, but a little bit of time. Since I've been watching, I've been trying to do those, and I can't seem to do it. <laughs> yeah, Tyler doesn't really go for it. Um, no. 
Yeah, those vectors are really scary and precise. But they look really cool. Oh. Silo doing a little fancy grabbing of the moon there. <laughs> it looked like a moon clip for a second. Like he didn't backflip or anything, but just how close he was to the wall. <laughs> Found the warp to Bowser's. <laughs> <laughs> Tylo didn't tell us. I mean, we we actually can clip out of bounds there. It's actually known. It's actually fast um, because the optimal way you do the like, the two moons in that room in reverse order and use a corner clip to get the Goomba moon. But yeah, that's obviously not really RTA viable. People do it in I uh, in ILs. Um, but yeah, it's really precise. Oof, eek. Bonking on getting out of the Odyssey. Ooh. Ooh. Twice. Let's go for three. There we go. Nice. Yeah, that can be actually really precise going up there. It's kind of weird. All right, gets the more important jump though. First try. But yeah, Tyler definitely catch up here. If he, if he nails this, okay. Looks A-OK. -okay. Yeah, that's probably like around five seconds different now. Maybe a little more. Still really close. Just looking on the head-to-head -head sheet, um, we have like a comparison um, out of every every kingdom. There was only one kingdom where there were more than 10 seconds apart. Like out of that kingdom. There was a late kingdom. And yeah. 4.3 seconds apparently, according to stat sheet, the part. Looks like it's gonna get a little bigger here though with the tag. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get that 0.2 seconds. Oh, there's actually something weird you can do here, right? During the loading of the cutscene, right? You can like buffer a spin pound or something? Yeah. You can actually spin the stick before the cutscene and then skip the cutscene after the spin and then do like another spin after the cutscene skip. It's really weird. But that's how you actually buffer spins through cutscenes. Man, Tylo just missing Mario. As soon as Eek went out of the pipe, Tylo decided to come in and he's like, Where'd you go, Eek? I wanna find you, bud. <laughs> Tyler's tired of this mouse and cat game. Cat and mouse. Yeah, really cool to see like the paths cross here, like twice. Because you actually have a little bit of backtracking here I'm out of out of the section. Oh, Tyler Dick. Having some trouble capturing the fish. Let's see some juicy fish lines. So I last Eden last time. Have you had sushi? Are you a sushi? Uh, not really, like... Maybe like two rolls. <laughs> two rolls? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I mean, sushi is kind of, kind of good, I would say, but I don't really ever had the opportunity to have sushi. But sometimes if I had, I just ordered something different, I guess. <laughs> I love it. It's like one of my favorite meals. It's like one, just getting to watch people make it, and then it's like, whoa, and then it tastes so good because you can feel all the layers unravel in your mouth. It's mm. Yeah, I have to say, it's quite nice. And I, I like fish and everything, so. Talking about fish, nice fish clip. Exactly, it's perfect. Both of them managed to get it on the first try. I think technically I have a small allergy to crab dance stuff, but that never stops me from eating crab. I love seafood. Alright, they keep it so close. Like, eek a little faster um, in Seaside, so it's probably around 10 seconds again. But still. Like big, big kingdom coming up, luncheon, really hard kingdom. It, it is. happen a lot. We did just see CMFP do a hero play on Spiritless, though. 
getting it on oh, the yeah. last thing. That was amazing to watch. Do either of these guys go for Spiritless? Checking now. Da -da 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 -da. Eek does not. Yeah, I don't think they go for it. Maybe they'll surprise us. Who knows? <laughs> we got a surprise last one. Let's see. Yeah. It's always interesting to see, like, when people PB, like, eked it yesterday, um, like, they might catch up new new strats. But yeah, it's probably too soon for them to catch up spirit this now. But yeah, that's probably something he might learn soon. On the other hand, both of them, I think, are, like, more like on the consistent side, like they try to go for consistent strats. And Spiritless obviously can be consistent, but that re requires a, a ton of practice. True. Like, honestly, I think maybe not. We still have like a bunch of rounds to go. So like, I think even if they don't do Spiritless even later in the tournament, I think if they just stay tried and true with their own thing, I think they could come out and win it potentially. Just because other people might try to new things and not mess them up. Yeah, consistency is really, really important in races. And Eek actually is crazy. Like, he had what was his seat going into this tourney? He, his seat was. It wasn't too bad, it was 8. Um, uh, but yes, still like in the lower half. But he actually won 2 out of. Uh, three races so far and is ahead again. So looking really good so far this league. So just out of curiosity, after getting the moon out of Tablet Tech, would it have been faster for both of them just to do the backflip back onto the thing and then roll across instead of did long jumping across like this? Uh after after the sub area? Yeah after the sub area. Because I notice other runners go up on top. Yeah, on top is faster, but it's really weird. Like the angles on there, like rolling on on the on the vegetables and everything is really weird. Is it? Okay. Yeah, I I, I, I never really attempted it, but the geometry in luncheon is is stupid. And yeah, it's a really hard stretch for sure. But it saves quite a lot. It's, it saves like over a second, I think, over capturing the fork. Yeah, I was debating on uh, implementing it into my run. Uh, I mean, you you can go for like a safer strat, maybe. I don't know. Like, if you manage to get the rolls consistent, the long jump is still faster than doing, uh, going for the fork, I think. Um, but yeah, if you want to go for the really hard uh, strat there, which actually saves a lot, like the roll cancel bounce. That that look, looks like impossible to me, to be honest. But yeah, long jump is still faster, I think, than capturing the fog. I love that little clip, like when you go over with the like a lava bubble. I think it's so fun. Yeah. Cause like when you get it right, you can just feel it, and it's so satisfying. Yeah, that jump is really cool. Something beginners struggle a lot with um, if they actually try it. But once you know the mechanics of it, it's not too bad. Just have to know where to jump. All right, let's see Tyler's cheese here. Looking really good. Where Stancer saying it's it's the non RG RNG uh, cheese. There's actually a good good tutorial by Ofordu3, um, who actually says it's RNG, but if you stand close to the cheese, you can still manage to hit the right cheese blocks, which is actually I think the most accurate thing. Because he actually he, he stands still and throws pants and they don't go in the in the same direction. Like they go in like weird angles. 
for sure, for sure. That makes a lot of sense. But yeah, if you stand like right, right in front of the block, you still hit it. Like, no matter what direction the pants take. Okay, Eek is able to maintain his lead here in luncheon. Decent luncheons from both runners. Yeah, nothing to scoff at. Many people would be envious to have these times. Such as myself. <coughs> but yeah, Eek, Eek saved like maybe four seconds or, or something over Tylo in luncheon. So he's like 15 ahead now. Do you want to do Advil, or do you want me to do Advil? Uh, what? Uh, ad oh, I just realized it sounded like Advil. Uh, do you, <laughs> do you want me to do uh, the Ad Kingdom, or do you want to do the Ad Kingdom? Oh, the Ad Kingdom. Uh, you can do it. Alright. <laughs> Sometimes, do plans not go according to plan? Well, that's why here at Plan B Sports, we're always ready with a Plan B. For instance, sponsoring, uh, we choose to sponsor Super Mario Odyssey Any% Percent League by doing a prize pool of 250 euros. And you're more than welcome to donate by doing exclamation point prize. Also, let's not forget to shout out our runners, Geek and Tylotech. Without them, we wouldn't have anyone to have actually race here today. So thank them. Make sure you sh follow them and watch their runs and watch as they progress. You can even watch them off scene and see how they get better and better. Let's not forget our commentators. We have Lupus and Peaceful Storm 13. Both of them have Twitches. Make sure to follow them and other accounts. Maybe you'll like them. Who knows? Also, I believe Plan B Esports has their own YouTube. So feel free to follow that. And don't forget to do the stats, people. Dance to today is doing stats, and also Dance to is organizing this specific race for the tournament. They are also a runner, so they have a lot of things on their mind. And don't forget to thank Dilly P96 for restreaming. All these yeah. things, all these people make this event possible, and especially you, chat. Can't forget about you. So thank you, everyone, for coming, and thank you, everyone, for contributing. Yeah, big shout out to everyone. I think I was also do, uh, doing stats if I'm informed correctly. So, yeah, shout outs too. And I don't think you mentioned like the, the people actually um, contributing in the prize pool. Um, with like uh, uh, helping to, to make the prize pool bigger with like 130 euros extra. Oh, I didn't even know about that. Yes. Wow. So, yeah. If anyone wants to help out uh, the tournament, feel free to uh, donate money to the prize pool. All right, no one died and ruined. Um, <clears throat> I'm really trying to think. When was the last time I saw someone dying and ruined? That has to be like three years ago. <laughs> I guess you could say that could ruin their run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, it happened to me too. I think I'd be beat with it once. With like a 121 or something. <laughs> Amazing. So it actually didn't ruin my run. I mean, it ruined the time, I guess, but I still PB'd. beat. No, it's good. Okay. <laughs> PB? Alright, um... Still EG on low 100 pace. 41 behind PB. Really solid still. I'd like the 20 seconds on late clip, but other than that... Not really any big mistakes. I mean, he died and lost, but that only does like three or four seconds. And Tylo also only like 40, 46 behind to be actually. So also still on 1-0 pace, definitely. 
Both of them staying very tight to their PBs. Yeah, it's still only like 20 seconds apart. One mistake and they're tight again. So still a close race. This has been a close race all the way through. It has. Especially watching Tylo's perseverance. Tylo had the lead, then they lost it, then they came back, then they lost it again. Eek has had it for a while now. Tylo's saying, okay, I'll let you have the lead for a bit. You wear yourself out. Then, when you're worn out, I'll come and pounce, and I'll take back my lead. It's the it's the tortoise that always beats the hare. Eek. Oh no! I think it's really interesting, like some people probably prefer being behind in a race because it actually like you you don't have as much pressure maybe like, it really depends on on the person i think but some some might actually prefer being like a couple of seconds behind maybe i can see that because yeah it's like, just a psychological factor Ooh. Oh, and that's like one mistake that probably was like yeah three seconds maybe. Uh, three or four seconds, not too much, and Tylo training dive back here. Okay. Uh, no further weird jump here. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm having a lot of trouble with, with shards here. So, probably didn't save time over Eek. Ah, they're doing Bowser Dram, as I've learned today. That's called. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it used to be called like, uh, like Shaden Dram or something like that. I can't really remember. It used to have like a different name. Eek! I, okay, I, oh, oh, Eek is awesome. Eek what? is the like yeah. well, Why are you surprised? Gonna be real here. I haven't watched one of Eek's run in a hot minute. I mean, he gives a cool guy. Why wouldn't he go for Tuffle? True. I guess that just means they like Harry at first. I or more. think Tylo's also. Oh no. Okay. No. <laughs> Tylo. Tylo doesn't like Harry. Tylo wants yeah. to get Harry out of the way. Yeah. I don't know, Dance Stuff. Sorry. Uh, I don't know either. <clears throat> we were we were focused on Eek going for Topper. We were, that was much more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of the big moment there. Yeah, Eek, Eek nailed the more important strap than Bowser Dren. Alright. Oh, Tyler has so, so much issues with Harriet here. Oh, one bunny behind. Forgot about that. What's it calling that meme worse than XD skip? I feel offended. Like, how can any anything be worse than XD skip? Especially because XD skip actually loses time, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like this, I think people have proven there's no actual difference, right? Or is that? Yeah, it, there's no difference. I mean. But there is actually a difference for XD skip, so I would say it's probably worse to meme about something that loses time. And I mean, Harriet versus Topper never really was funny. It's just like something to play with, I guess. Wait, what's locked down, Mitch? I use Internet Explorer. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how, how, how do you watch the race? Uh, oh, uh, beat camps. <laughs> now, uh, I actually created a portal. It was actually fast. So just use a portal. No, oh, yeah. Like, a time machine portal. Yeah. Yeah, time travel is kind of kind of important in speedruns, so... That makes sense. Alright. Now for the big fight here. Not opting to go for top required. Yeah. 
Kylo climbing up the wall, throwing the bird to the wayside, saying, I don't need you anymore. The only thing I need is victory. Yeah, and maybe the most scary part for the rest of the run is this trick coming up right now for the... It's not too hard, but if you get like an input drop or something, you can still fail it. Target acquired. A little slow spin pound, but he got it. I'm tired actually going for top acquired. To save like that half a second or something. Spewart acquired. <laughs> Tylo keeping chances here. Waiting for one mistake by Eek. Yeah, all the pressure's on. Impossible. You can feel Tylo's heart beating right behind him. Feel the breath slowly on the neck of Eek. About to be overtaken by Tylo, potentially. One trip, and Eek may lose this race. There we have a little bit of downtime. Um, let's... See, like we have still really hype races after this one coming up. Like, definitely don't miss Mitch vs. Psionic and Tyron vs. Lose It. Um, really looking forward to those. Um, just after this one. Uh, I think one of the coolest things to me was seeing, uh, in two-player mode, was seeing the moon skip. Like, the moon skip skip with the flower. Yeah. Um... The Tupi has some really cool tricks. Sadly, not really active. Like, Tupi community. Kind of dead. Like, sometimes some people try doing a run, including myself. Um... But yeah... That moon skip skip is not really RTA viable, um, sadly. <laughs> and it saves like a second. Even though it looks really cool, it only saves like a second. And there's also like a slower version, which was uh, the thing that was found originally before the faster version. And that one is actually slower than normal moon skip. It's funny because I remember people <laughs> in the like. Minimum captures community uh, trying trying the new moon skip, which was actually the slower version, which is RTA viable, I guess, but it's like two seconds slower than the normal uh, moon skip. All right, Eek seeing Bowser saying, Bowser, that's my girlfriend you have, and I want her back. I mean, yeah, Mario kind of hopes for that, I guess, <laughs> for that girlfriend thing. Wait, are they dating officially in the lore, or no? I don't think so. Are they really not? Mario's just a good guy. Mario's yeah, he just... Guy Mario. He's a plumber. He doesn't have to be rescuing this princess continuously. When do we see, like, Mario using, like, plumber tools to, uh, to defeat Bowser? I'm trying to think. I think there was a game with that, wasn't there? Yeah, actually, well, <laughs> I, I I swear there was. Maybe there was. No, no, there wasn't. No. <laughs> we'll be I, I was gonna think. I'm like, wasn't there? No. <laughs> Replacing Cappy <laughs> with some like weird tools that I definitely don't know the name of. Oh, nice. Oh, you might. Yeah. Ooh, that's, like, that's rough, but... And now he definitely needs like a really big mistake by Eek. Like, it's basically a death and escape. 
So in this situation, I don't... Like, I get that they're probably just really consistent at 2D skip, but I feel like if you're ahead by this much, you shouldn't even go for it. Because just the potential of losing there... Like... <laughs> like, I, I just don't see the point. Yeah, but the thing is, like, if you wanna watch try, like, the normal way, you probably be more likely to die because you don't know what to do. <laughs> and you just jump, right? It's just like any other 2D part of the game, right? Yeah, uh, well... <laughs> No? I don't think it's that simple. It can be weird. Like, especially, like, you would still try to go fast. Like, on that level, people don't go for, like, super safe movement. And if you try to go fast on the normal way, you, I don't know. I think it wouldn't be too unlikely uh, to mess that up. And yeah, to least it isn't too bad. Very true. Well, looks like Eek just has to break down the pillars, and then they'll have be able to be the pillar of their victory. Oh wait, no, I don't know what's going there. No, the pillars of their def no. I'll think about it. Yeah, just don't die here, Eek. Wow, that was beautiful. And that's how you pull off. Look, looking really good. This title also gets to this one. I guess like some fireballs even there. But overall really saw the pillars from Eek. Closing it out. Still with like a 101 X. Really solid time. Very good race for those runners. Yeah. It was very cool to see how close they were. And just the time differences, like the little movements differences that happened. Yeah, that was definitely my favorite thing. That's comparison from language in early game. <laughs> my, I kind of said for Tylo losing. Also losing his fourth race, so still without any wins. Even though he, he doesn't play bad, but just his opponent always plays like a little better. All right, Tyro sandbagging. Don't worry. It's don't worry. They got it. They got it later. Playing the long game. Playing the long game. Yeah, it's definitely still possible, especially if he keeps grabbing points from lo from from losses like he still gets points for for this like he's like a minute behind or something or not even so he still gets like 25 points or something so yeah official or not official but like hand times were like 1019 and 10107 ggs to both runners and yeah he grabbing his third win. And currently in fourth position. Fourth rank. Alright. I assume we will have people down for interviews. Yeah, Eek oh, is shit. definitely in the, in the waiting room. You guys can hear me right now. Yo. I felt like I was muted, but whatever. Hello. Hello, hello. 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 Let's see if uh, Tylo also want to join. Yeah. Let's... Yo, Tylo. Yo. Um, so yeah, let's start with Tylo. Um, how do you feel about that race? Um, still like only around a minute behind PB, but obviously with, with some bigger mistakes. Uh, or like bigger time losses in some kingdoms. I th I think it was um, a frustrating run to be honest, because uh, I don't know I made so many like teeny tiny mistakes like after losses. Uh, oh no, actually more like after no yeah after lake actually, I just started like losing time everywhere, and it's always so annoying when you have those kind of, have those runs where it's like you can't do anything. You can't like perform well in any kingdoms. So that's 
kind of annoying, but I mean, it's a low one to one, so I'll take it, I suppose. My last yeah. couple of races haven't been that, <laughs> haven't been that great. Got like one or twos, so I'll take that. I'll take a low one to one. Yeah, I said like earlier, um, um, this race you had like more solid performances in the qualifiers. Do you think it's like you feel more pressure in the actual league, or is it just that you get like unlucky? No, it's just no. Uh, uh, during the qualifiers, I was actually somewhat playing the game like almost every day, and now I only play the game on Saturdays when I have races, so I haven't really played mm -hmm. that much. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so my consistency has definitely gone downhill since then. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Um, Eek, your uh, consistency is actually quite good this week so far. Uh, so far. Got, got some really yeah really solid performances. Also this one only being like 40 behind your new PB and this one was with, without DSS. So how do you feel about the run? Uh, it was overall decent. Like I'll, I'll take a low 100 any day. Like that's a solid race time. I was pretty tilted after I missed late clip like a million times and that kind of like carried through into like wooded and lost and like a lot of the mid game. But then after like snow, I think I started like pulling it together and playing well so i'm glad that i was able to like play well at the end yeah like looking at your run you were like 38 behind pb out of uh, what is that uh, 